Hey guys, and welcome to this third part of making clothes for Mr. Piggy. All right, in case you haven't seen the first uh, two videos, uh, in the first video we went over and explained how to make the pants. The second video was all about how to make the whole shirt. In this video though, it really wasn't um, planned, but it when I actually finished everything, it was kind of missing something. So I decided to make this th third, rather shorter video in which we're going to fill up this uh, portion of our character with a nice cape. So this is a fairly easy thing to do uh, inside uh, with Marvelous Designer 5. And here's how you do it. All you got to do is take and, like always, start off with a piece cloth like this now we're gonna go ahead add in well let's go like this make it so it's about here and get this to be something like this all right now this part here I want to get it so it's more or less the width of his neck now seeing as how our character has quite the thick neck we might actually have to uh, do some more modifications but let's see first one is just gonna rotate this so it kind of comes into position like so all right get it around the middle and yeah well i think this might work better if we have a bit more clearance for the neck like so a little bit downwards like that okay now the easiest way to do this would probably be by just unfolding this align so click it here right click unfold and it's going to make it symmetrical for us so let's simulate this give it a second so it kind of falls flat on it like that awesome all right let's just give it a second so it kind of falls into position awesome all right, now let's move it around so we get a bit more stylized look. So something like this. Move this to the back a bit, 50. Move this around this here, around 50. And let's go ahead and sew these two pieces together. So they hold it up here. okay awesome so from what i can see up till about here the cloth is okay and then it's starting to fall downwards so what i can do here is just stretch it out like that so it starts falling backwards a bit more and just tug it downwards so it kind of pulls back all right and now let's see if i don't want to get this to go so uh, far back i can pull this upwards re-simulate can probably even change the way this thing is curved there we go so we have more natural flow the front here I can probably get it to be a bit thinner because as it is right now it's really kind of thick so thinner, get this like so. And 
gonna click here, which is showing me that that point is about here. So I'm gonna put in two more points. And with those two points, I can then further change the size of this cloak. So I can make it uh, so it's smaller or less wider. All right, like that. And I can even make it more interesting, but by making it longer. Because right now it's just up to like under his butt. Pull it downwards. Resimulate. And now it's a proper cloak. All right, pull it to the side. Just give it some time until it does all the calculation and it kind of straightens itself up. We can tug it around if we want to. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't, but it usually just kind of resolves all the issues on its own. All right, as we can see. Now the only thing that I can see for fixing, well, not fixing, but changing, would probably be to deal with this curve over here. If I want to have this to be less uh, rounded and more straight, I can just play around with uh, this curve and get a different kind of look for it. But it all kind of depends on what kind of a look you're going after for your cloak. So again, give it a bit more. For the front, I'm actually okay with that, how it looks like. Just want to pull it a tiny bit lower, like so. All right. Uh, let's just re-simulate uh, re so we can see how our cloak is going to fall down. Just have to wait for just a tiny bit more until it settles in. Trying to tug it so it kind of resolves that issue faster, but it's simply taking its time. All right, so the only thing that I want to change here is the particle distance. I'm going to put it down to 10 so I get a bit more wrinkles or more realistic wrinkles in it and get more details out of that simulation. All right, tug it in once. If you want to have more wrinkles before the simulation settles in, you can choose to move it a tiny bit like this on this side, tug it on this side and then while it's setting back into position if you like a certain like shape you have you can see that your cloak is taking you can simply stop the simulation and use it as a final product for me well I'm basically happy with how looked it looked when it was finally settled in but for example i can leave it like this and call it done so now that we have everything done we can choose this and i can freeze it so i can get it all ready for exporting all right so if you guys enjoyed watching this video then don't forget to subscribe hit the like button as it really does help a lot. Again, I will leave a link to Aramis 3D, and I really like. I would really like to thank him for his release of this uh, model that I used here uh, as my avatar. And all in all, I hope you guys had fun. You managed to learn something new. So for now, take care, and I will see you all in the next video.